Hello, my name is Sherva Nuri. I'm here at Harmony Science Academy West Houston and my PBL project is Balloon Race. So the first step is to label your Erlenmeyer flasks, your six Erlenmeyer flasks, one through six. So like this. One, two, three, four, five, and six. For my next step, I'm going to label the weighing dishes one through six. And in the first weighing dish, I'm going to put it on the balance. Now, I'm going to weigh the first dish with 50 grams of sodium bicarbonate. And the second one with one gram of sodium bicarbonate. The third one with 1.5 grams of sodium bicarbonate. The, the fourth one with 2 grams of sodium bicarbonate. The, the fifth one with 2.5 and the last one with 3 grams of sodium bicarbonate. Now using the funnel, I'm going to pour in the sodium bicarbonate into each balloon. For the next step, I'm going to pour 60 milliliters of acetic acid solution into each Erlenmeyer flask. Now for my last step, I'm going to carefully stretch over the balloon over each Erlenmeyer flask and, and hold it here and do this with each balloon. Now I'm going to carefully dump out the content inside of each balloon and wait for the reaction to occur. And as you can see, each balloon is filling up and this gas is carbon dioxide. As you can see, each balloon filled up a uh, different amount of carbon dioxide. The first Erlenmeyer flask uh, had the least because of the, uh, of the limiting um, reactants. And from fourth and onward, all the balloons are about the same size because no matter how much excess reactant there is in the product, uh, it can't produce more carbon dioxide. It produces the same in this connection, what I did is uh, I made a journal entry for each day that I worked on it and I described the steps as I uh, thought of uh, how the chemical reaction actually occurred. For my social studies connection, what I did is I uh, researched the history about uh, stoichiometry and I also um, connected it with real life examples to how limiting and accessing reactants work in a chemical reaction and in real life situations. Thank you for watching my video on stoichiometry, balloon race.